Hey there, bootstrappers. This is Ryan Nickel coming at you with another coaching tip. So I was um, recently had lunch with another guy in my marketplace here, and we went out driving for dollars. And um, he's he's where I was when I got started in this business. He's never done a deal, and he's hurting for cash really bad. And I was telling him about this deal that I just got and what my projected cash flow was and why I would be willing to go break even on it, not make a dime, because for me it's a cash flow property. I don't need to make any kind of upfront money on it. He's like, why would you do that? I'm like, well, that's the difference between, you know, knowing when you need piles of cash and knowing when you can just go ahead and accept cash flow. And I'm in a point in a position where, you know, right now I, I don't need cash. I got cash that, you know, it's partly, uh, you know, I just, I just did a wholesale deal that brought me in some cash. I just did another transaction. So I just did another, um, the three that I closed this month, one was a wholesale transaction that brought me some cash. And then I did two cash flow deals. Um, one's going to cash flow me. One for sure will cash flow me twelve hundred, a thousand dollars a month cash flow. The other one will cash flow me, uh, depending on where I'm get, where I'm at, anywhere between two hundred to three fifty ish yeah, around that ballpark range. So you know, for me, that's what you, that's what I know. And um, so, how do you know which is best for you? When you're first getting started, what do you need? You need cash. You need a large chunk of cash to live off of to get your expenses going because you know if you go get a property and you're bringing in like 200 bucks a month that's not going to do anything but if you get a property and you bring in like you know 10 grand i mean whatever your monthly nut is that you can live off that for several months while you're building up the other properties and that's what i used to do i used to supplement my properties i would go get chunks of cash and then get a cash flow deal more chunks of cash to live off of and then a cash flow deal and eventually my cash flow deals surpassed my chunks of cash so i got cash flow coming in every month regardless if i'm working i got cash flow coming in paying for my monthly expenses so when you're first getting started yeah dude Chunks of cash is the most important thing you need right now. You need cash in the coffers as fast as you possibly can. So I would suggest to go out and get a wholesale deal under your belt or to go out and get a super skinny deal like the ones that I do and just go ahead and sell or finance it. Take the down payment, put some cash in your pocket. That was the very first deal that I ever did. I got 20 grand. Uh, of the 20, of course, she, pre she prepaid five months worth of rent for five grand. So I basically, I pocketed 15 grand. But I had a mentor, so I didn't pocket 15 grand because I had to pay him his fee for mentoring me and all all that stuff but still i had some nice cash in the bank from where before i had zero zilch i was sleeping on the back of, a, of this dude's floor i had you know no income we were on food stamps so i totally understand where you know he's not <laughs> nearly as destitute as where i was but cash was what i needed i didn't care about cash flow i wanted cash flow but i didn't need cash flow like i needed cash right then and there so once you get established and once you have a nice little reserve where you can go ahead and be and branch out and go like look i don't need to sell this property off i don't need to sell the golden goose you know that lays the golden eggs i can go ahead and start focusing on my cash flow deals that's when you just want to start doing you know to, to build up enough cash flow so that eventually Come hell or high water, high water, you're getting your money every single month no matter what's going on in your own personal life. You don't have to like go out there and do the grind and find a deal, close it. Next month, find a deal, close it. Next month, find the deal. You're getting cash every single month. And that's where I'm at right now. I've got the cash flow. So for me, like I mentioned, I'd be, I, was, I am willing to go. This one hasn't closed yet. I'm still trying to. I just got it under contract uh, officially yesterday. I'll probably uh, roll this one through the weekend and get it all situated by on, on New Year's. But I'm, I'm looking at a breaking even on this one. So my my all in cost, I'm looking at just you know having their down payment just cover that, which is very minimum, because I want the cash flow. And by me doing that, I'm giving them a higher monthly payment. So you need to evaluate where you're at. Are you just starting? Do you and you don't have any other income? Like you're not like a, on disability. You're not like a veteran. You're not receiving any kind of you know a monthly income to to support your lifestyle as a real estate investor as you get this thing going. So you can focus on cash flow. If that's not the case, if you don't have an alternative form of income, whether it's a spouse or somebody else that's supporting you, um, or a part time job, then you need to focus on getting some cash immediately. Like I'm saying, wholesale deals or getting a skinny deal under contract, and then uh, just collecting you know a large down payment, whether it's an option fee, whether it's uh, you know seller seller financing, whatever it is, however you want to structure it, get the cash so that you don't have to worry about the other, you know, stuff in your life and you can focus on working on getting towards the cash flow in time. But if you're already established and you already have cash coming in, then go get the cash flow stuff and just roll with it. And you'll be able to be, man, I'll tell you what, it takes a lot of the stress of the day-to-day -day grind and, and living off of, uh, off my shoulders because, like I said, every month I'm getting cash that comes in. And this is how it all, all transfers. I mean, one deal, one deal changes your entire financial future. And you're just one deal away from changing that forever for you. I remember, I, like I said, I was, I was homeless. I was broke. 
my family, we were on food stamps. And that one deal did everything for me. I got that check for 15 grand. It was a little bit less after I said it was all said and done. But still, holding that, that check in my hand, I had the idea. I'm like, shoot, this happened in two weeks. Two weeks of focused effort. Now, again, I had a mentor holding my hand, directing me, letting me know where to go. But in two weeks, I was able to get what I needed done and support my family. You can do the exact same thing. So get out there. The holidays is no excuse. Uh, like I, when I did this several years back, it was on December 19th when I closed that first deal. I worked through the holidays of Thanksgiving without my family. I left my family in California and I moved to Georgia to make it happen. So whatever your circumstances are, there's a deal out there for you. I closed three, uh, two right now. One closes tomorrow, but it's technically, technically it's already done. The, the money's already there. It's already been wired there. So uh, we're just waiting for um, someone to sign. So anyway, I'm Ryan Nickel. This is Bootstrap REI. I built this for you.